Hello there, Bobby Hump3, bluelightdiet.com, and in this video, I am going to show you the difference between sunlight, sunlight coming through a window, and I'm going to prove to you that sunlight through a window is not sunlight. It is a man-made artificial spectrum of light that accelerates disease generation compared to living out in the natural sunlight that we have for millions and millions of years. So this is called a spectrometer. And what a spectrometer does, it gives you the, the exact type of light coming from a light source. So it tells you all the colors from UV to visible colors to infrared, right? It gives you the nutrient profile of a light source. So when I take the nutrient profile of sunlight here, we see this is what it looks like. This is what full spectrum, real untouched sunlight looks like. You've got infrared on the far right here, red, the yellows, the oranges, the greens, blues in the middle, and on the left here, you've got UV, UV light, all right? So now when we go to sunlight coming through a window, as it is right here, I'm gonna take its spectrum and I want you to pay attention to the red and infrared. Watch what happens. Boom, look at that. Red and infrared drastically goes down by at least more than half, all right? And this is huge because red and infrared light, among many other things, are like food for your mitochondria, okay? It gives you energy, it powers your metabolism. So when you are living indoors all day long, which Americans live, I think it is 90% of their days indoors, you are getting a ton less red and infrared light than you should, than you should which means you are underpowering yourself. All that chronic fatigue stuff, that's fibromyalgia, all that stuff, all red and infrared light deficiency, all right? So one big thing that windows do is reduce the red and the infrared light big time. Let's get that sun spectrum back. There we go, see the red and infrared light come back from the outside. Now, look at like the blue and the green light here. Tell me what happens. What just happened to blue and green? Nothing, not much, not much. And you might say, well, isn't that a good thing? They weren't touched. No, it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. And it's a bad thing because in relation to the red and the infrared light, the amount of blue light goes way up. So living indoors makes you blue light toxic. This is how it makes you blue light toxic and you get all the bad things that come on blue light toxicity, which you could read on my Twitter page and my Instagram page, okay? So in nature, sunlight, sunlight is naturally balanced. You have the red and the infrared is kind of the counterbalance to the blue and the green light. The blue and the green really stimulator, stimulatory, red light, very regenerative, okay? You'll see here one more time when I get the full spectrum of sunlight. Look at this. Look how they're, they're very balanced in natural sunlight and then when it's through a window, it screws up the balance. You become blue light toxic through a window. So blue light toxicity is a second big problem with living indoors all day long. Now let's look at the UV light. Watch what happens to the UV. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is off the cuff. Um, lots of the UVB light goes away. A lot of the UVA light is still there. So you get an unnatural balance of UVA to UVB and then UV to red light and infrared light. And you might say, well, my uh, dermatologist says that UVB, I've got a, or UV, I've got to wear sunscreen all day. I need no UV, I can't have UV. That is insane. Your dermatologist is a psychopath. Essentially what living indoors is doing, it's reducing the UVB to UVA. It's turning your house into a low level tanning salon all day long. And what a lot of papers now show is that when you screw with that UVB to UVA balance, 
When you take away that UVB and still have a lot of UVA, your risk for melanoma goes up big time. So living indoors through windows is increasing your risk of melanoma. And that's not the only way it increases your risk for melanoma. The red and the infrared go down. The red and the infrared are showing kind of to, uh, in, in papers to um, pre-treat your skin from the stronger sun that comes out later in the day. It's better able to handle stronger sun when you pre-treat with red and infrared, and then the red and infrared kind of repair the damage that stronger sun earlier in the day does to your skin. When you live indoors all day long, you miss out on that regenerative red and infrared. So that adds to melanoma risk. And then add in the artificial light at night that screws your skin circadian clocks up and makes your skin unable to process light well the next day and further increases your risk of melanoma. So really, your psychopathic dermatologist is increasing your risk of melanoma. Do you think now living under sun, full spectrum sunlight is really the cause of melanoma or is it living in an indoor low level tanning salon all day long and then turning lights on at night and screwing up your skin circadian rhythm clocks that does it. But that's just not the point of this video. The point of this video is there are three things that screw up your indoor, indoor living accelerates disease generation in three ways. One, it reduces the amount of red and infrared light you get every single day. Two, it increases the amount of blue light to in relation to red and infrared light, which means you are blue light toxic living indoors every single day. And then three, it warps the relation from of UVB to UVA light, which increases your risk of skin cancers, lowers your vitamin D generation, a lot more than that. So Sunlight through a window is not sunlight. It's an artificial spectrum, man-made spectrum of light. It would never exist in nature if man didn't make this. Sunlight is perfectly packaged. You don't have to sit in it all day long. You can sit in the shade, but the point is get outside as much as you can. Indoor living is accelerating disease generation. And oh, I guess we can add a fourth thing. So when we take the, um, the uh, spectrum of light here, there's something called lux. And lux is basically the measure of the brightness of a light source. And if we look at the lux of sunshine, right now we see, let's see where it is. It's, see that LX, 11368? That's 113,000 lux outside. So it's very bright outside right now. Now, if we take the lux of your indoor living, let's go a little bit of ways here. Watch what happens. Boom, 1977 lux. So it went from over 100,000 lux to only 1,900 lux. And this is very close to a window. If I go deeper in the house, it'll get darker. And what that does is screws up your circadian rhythm. It flattens out those melatonin and the, 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 the cortisol curves, okay? You get chronic fatigue, you get tired. Your body doesn't work as efficiently as it, it should. So it's mass circadian rhythm disruption is also another factor of living indoors that is very bad for your health and accelerating disease generation. All right, I hope this video made sense. Like I said again, it's off the cuff. I just blabbered stuff. But the point of the video is you got to get outside. You got to take multiple outdoor breaks during the day. Get sunlight on your skin at all times during the day. You want to kind of get outside around sunset if you can. Get outside mid-morning, middle of the day, middle of the afternoon, and then around sunset. And then get darkness at night. Bright days, dark nights. All right. Hope it made sense. Bobby Hunt 3, probably the best link you could go visit if you want to learn more about light and health is bluelightdiet.com forward slash links, L-I-N-K-S.